we'll look at how do you load in data into Grab2DC as a DTA file. In the past, I've always done it with Surfer, but most people don't have Surfer. So I've got Excel open, and I'm going to go to go to blank book, and I'm going to click on data, and I'm going to click from text. So I've got a text file with um, my gravity values in it. So I'm going to click on this text file. I'm going to click import. If you've got the newer version of Excel, this is how it now imports stuff. I can't say I'm the biggest fan. I really preferred the old way. So I click on import, and you can see it's given me column headings, and um, I can delete A if I want. And then B is my distance column, and C are my gravity values. So I'm going to go File, Save As, and I'm going to change, change my file type to PRN. There might be other formats. This is just the one I've had success with in the past. The main thing is it's got to, yeah, it's just got to allow Grab2DC to read it in and recognize the different columns. And I haven't had much success with other file formats. It doesn't, I think it, I'm not sure. I don't think it likes commas and stuff like that. So you can see this is space delimited. So I'm going to click and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it test. Please don't call yours test. Give it a good name. And I'm just saving it to my desktop. And I'm um, clicking save. Okay, and then close it because we're going to go edit the file extension. You can see I've been practicing this a bit. Okay, so I'm going to my desktop where I saved it. And which did I save here? You can see I'm confused because I've been saving this a few times. So let me look for my update version. So here's this PRN file. And um, I would recommend copy, creating a copy. Just it saves you having to go back if you make mistakes. So now click on it so you can edit the file name and literally highlight everything that includes the file extension that you don't want and delete it and type dot dta so you're literally physically changing the file extension when you click enter it's going to say it's going to become unstable don't stress about it just click yes please note when you do mag 2 dc for magnetic modeling i think it's dot dat not dta but again you can just type in dat but only if it's a file that's in a PRN format. If it's in another format, you can't just take change extension and hope for the best. The fact that we've put it into the PRN format, it means it's in the correct format that it will still be read in. So you cannot just go and do this with a CSV or a text. You have to be in PRN format. I click yes, and you can see it saved it here. So now I'm going to open up Grab2DC on my computer. And I've got videos of how to run the software, and in that you'll see where you can download it. It's from the lecturer Gordon Cooper, who's at our university. It's from his ResearchGate page. So I double-click on the EXE file. Okay, and now I'm going to click on System Options, Begin a New Model. And so you're going to put in your density contrast for the body, the strike of the body, the maximum depth display, and you're going to choose your units. I'm going to choose meters. Um, I'm actually going to choose, I think, kilometers, because when I, this data that I'm reading in was um, looking at the lithosphere as a whole, so it was a very large scale. So the original model I created that created this data, you don't need to know this, was in kilometers. So that's why I'm sticking to kilometers. But if you went and collected data in the field, you'll probably be looking at meters scale, and down to 100 meters is fine. And I'm going to click on Read in Data, click OK, and I'm going to look on my desktop, Is my DTA file, I click open. And so at this point now, you will know whether what you've done has worked or not. If it doesn't work, if you get an error here, please go repeat and make sure you have done it with PRN format. Um, and if you've got lots of other headings above here that are complicated with lots of words, I would go and physically go delete those. Um, if you've by chance exported a previous Grab2DC model it'll have all the model corners up at the top here go delete those it won't read it in properly if you have those in okay so my x column is in my x position in column one gravity is in column two and i've got one comment line this first line here and i'm going to click okay and you can see it's read in the data and so the original model that i actually used to create this data let's see if we can reproduce it and fit the data. I was trying to model the moho below 
I'm sorry, I'm probably going to have a channel there. The Moho Below South Africa. Right click. And we were looking at a density contrast of line surface. Okay, and you can see I've started to put my data. And I would probably move it down by just making this a bit deeper, which you can go change a corner with the mouse. And I'm going to click on the corner and click where I want it to go. This this should have been down at 30 kilometers, the moho below 30. And then this should could go a bit deeper as well. And something else which I can show you will probably help me fit my data um, is I think my strike length I've left wrong. Okay, so I'm going there. If I double click on here, uh, you can see my strike length is 100, but I'm modeling the whole crest of South Africa. So 100, meter, 100 kilometers in and out of board is not enough. So I'm going to make it 1,000 and I should change it. Okay, and so it's made it a lot better. Um, so I could keep carrying on making it a bit deeper, and this is an example of um, ambiguity modeling, like a lot of different things can help fit the data, but I mean, I'm on the right path. So yeah, that is how you take a text file, you get it into Excel, save it as a PRN file, edit the file extension to change it to DTA, and then bring it into Grav2DC.